Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about new arcade cores, the Simpsons core released to the public, a DE10 Nano clone, huge Mystex updates, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor Mr. Add-on, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, IO boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. A while back, YouTuber Taki Udon posted on Reddit about being in talks with a company on creating a Mr. FPGA alternative and handheld. Now we are starting to see some real hardware being shown. On Twitter, an image of a prototype was posted next to a real DE10 Nano. They both look really similar with some slight differences. I'm hoping these differences do not break compatibility with current Mr. FPGA cases and accessories. This clone will have the same Cyclone 5 that's on the DE10 Nano and it is said that it will work with standard Mr. software. No ports needed. Pricing is expected to be at $115 for the board alone, which is much cheaper than the official DE10 Nano from Terrasic, which can cost $220. There will also be a console version with a different PCB layout and contain most of the existing I.O. board functionalities. Plus, it was teased that there will be a big surprise. Later in the week, Taki posted a video showing the board in action and things are looking really good. There are a few differences, but Taki mentioned that he was in touch with Sorge, the creator of the Mr. FPGA project, and received suggestions on helping this clone be compatible with current Mr. FPGA I.O. boards. Taki also showed off some games being played on the clone, including the Saturn, PlayStation, and N64 cores. So things are looking really good for compatibility. Check out the video for more details on the board and core testing. I feel that this is great. The DE10 Nano has only been going up in price, and if we can get an alternative that costs less, it will lower the barrier of entry for anyone trying to get into FPGA gaming. People who have been wanting a second setup will also more likely get one with a lower priced DE10 Nano. I'm really hoping it can be 100% compatible with the DE10 Nano and match its quality. Protego has released the JT Simpsons core to the public. There are still some issues that need to be fixed, but anyone can now install it on their Mr. FPGAs through Update All. Games that are supported in the JT Simpsons core are The Simpsons, Vendetta, and Parodius Da. In addition to the public JT Simpsons core, Potego added three new games to the beta JTS house core. These games are Marchin Maze, Shadowland, and Boxy Boy. Remember that since this core is in beta, it is only available to Patreon subscribers. Once it's out of beta, it will be available to the public. Otego's team is currently working on adding color support to the Neo Geo Pocket Core for the final step in the beta phase. The plan is to close the core in May. Otego also gave updates to the In Development System 18 core and says that development is going well. Because of the similarities with other arcade hardware, they were able to use other modules from other cores to speed up development. The big new module is a PCM sound chip. Schematics to the board are also available. This arcade board plays games like Shadow Dancer, Moonwalker, and more. The Mystex project has been seeing a wave of new cores working. Mystex is a fork of Mr. that allows cores to work on other FPGA boards besides the DE10 Nano's Cyclone 5. It looks like there has been a workflow that allows the quick porting of Otego's core as there have been more than 40 cores ported to Mystex, thanks to work done by core developer Somhai. Some of the ported cores are Contra, Trojan, Pang, Sega System 16 games, and so many more. Even recent cores developed by Hotego are running like The Simpsons and Splatterhouse cores. On the project's GitHub, there is a table that provides the status of all the cores and what FPGA chip they run on. 
This is huge, and Mystex is slowly becoming a viable option for people wanting to get into FPGA gaming. I currently have the required items to build a Mystex and I'm planning on doing some content on it. Mystex is being developed by Hans Bayer and if you support him on Patreon, all proceeds are used to help fund developers to the project. If you're a Mrcade owner, then you should be using the Mrcade mappings to automatically configure your controls so you don't have to. The mappings have been updated to include Hotego's latest games added to the JTS house core. To enable the mappings, just add this code to your downloader.ini file. This is only relevant to Mrcade owners. Regular Mr. owners will not benefit from this. The Sega Saturn Core has had VDP2 fixes that improve the following games. Galaxy Fight, Capcom Generation 5, Magical Night Dreams Cotton 2, Panzer Dragoon 2, and Tenchi Muyu. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.